How you doing? This is Stan with these life treasures. And I guess you wonder what these things right here are. And um, just recently went out picking. And I actually found these. And um, I thought they was kind of unique. And, uh, and I said, hey, that looked like something that I could actually sell, you know, on eBay. So uh, they are so cute. And, and they're colorful and everything. And um, I actually found three of them, one red, one black, and one blue. And they look like some kind of little bobber heads to me, and I'm just kind of checking them out. Hey, that's D. What, D? What are you doing? <sighs> you come in here interrupting me? I'm getting ready Man. to do a video on, the, on some bobber heads I just found, D. Man, you know, this is SD. Sorry, I didn't realize SD was recording something, but this is SD. I mean, this is D of D's Life Treasure. D, what are you doing? Uh, I'm trying to shoot a video on some bobber heads. I just, I just found that at a thrift store. You know what? What? That looked like something I was just looking at on TV. It looked like, um, what that, sh something about, um, Day of the Dead. Is that, is that what, what that is? I don't know, D. I just found them, and they look kind of colorful, you know? And it just looked like something that, you know, somebody might would want. You know, that's what it looks like. I was looking at something on TV, and uh, then really I had kind of heard about Day of the Dead. I think it's a, it's a culture in the Spanish community. And uh, I did a little research mm -hmm. on it, and it's amazing how you found those, and, and you're talking about it on your eBay site. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I just, I just thought they looked good, so I just well, bought they, them. They, well, they do look good. They different. They colorful. So they they different from what I'm used to seeing. As far as bobby heads, bobby heads you usually see, you know, the sports people, things. sports, yeah. and maybe celebrities, and yeah. so it's different than what I'm used to seeing. You but. you right, D. I just I just found the bobble heads, you know, and like you said, the sports bobble head. Matter of fact, I just found the JB up to. It's a sports barber head. I just found this one. And this is what I'm familiar with, like these types of barber heads yeah, right here. Okay. So that's, what I'm that's the reason why I yeah. bought them. Yeah, you know. Like you say, sports barber head. Yeah, that's me too. SD, mm -hmm. uh, SD. But yeah, but uh, I, to, to my surprise, and I'm sure you'll be surprised, I did a little history on um, Day of the Dead. Because when I was watching TV, I, I saw something about it, and I said I'd go to the internet. And, fit and see what it's all about, but it's actually a um, culture that's in the Spanish community that they remember the dead ones. Oh, this part of the Spanish culture? The Spanish culture. Oh. Yeah, so it's good Ooh. to see something like that because you never know what you come across when you're out there picking because, you know, like you said, we are international sellers. You're right. You know, well, we need to know about other cultures and holidays and stuff like that because... You know, during the Christmas time, sales generally peak for us. Well, that's true. And in the holiday time, you know, that Mother's we Day, about Father's gone. Day, and all of that. Yeah, by the time that we get about gone, you know, people start early for shopping for Christmas. So, um, if you want me to give you a little history about Yeah, the, give us a little background. Day, day of the day? Uh, day of the day. Yeah, give us a little history okay. so we can know. So when we out there picking, we'll know, you know, what to look for. We can add this to our... Um, Okay, well, so uh, it's, it's the, the, the history that I came up with and came across is that it's a Mexican holiday celebrated throughout Mexico, in particular the central and the south regions of Mexico. And they focus, their holiday focus is on gatherings of family and friends to pray for and remember friends and family members who have died. Hmm. That's, that's a different than from what we may do. Yeah, you know, we do celebrate something like that in the South, but we generally call it Decoration Day, where uh, we just kind of fix the graves up a little bit, uh, remove all the grass and stuff, and put fresh flowers out. And it's also, this culture, this uh, helps support their spiritual journey. Okay. In 2008, the tradition was inscribed in the representative list of the intangible culture heritage of humanity by UNESCO, U-N-E-S-C-O. Mm -hmm. 
and it is particularly celebrated in Mexico where the day is a public holiday. Prior to the Spanish colonization in the 16th century, the celebration took place at the beginning of summer. It has now been moved to October 31st, November 1st, and November 2nd to coincide with the Roman Catholic Trinidad Festival. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. So as you can see, um, it's been, um, it's, it's been that um, I had done a little research on some of the things that you came across and realized that you were doing the same thing. Because I know we always out there looking and I'm out there by myself, you out there by yourself. And so you never know what you can come across. So I, and when I was looking at something on TV, I saw something like this. I said, no, oh, let me look this up and see what it's all about. Because if I'm out there picking, maybe I'll come across some of these, um, something that represents the Day of the Dead or the Spanish culture. And you're absolutely correct, D. If you truly want to be an uh, international salesperson, then you have to know about the different holidays around the world mm -hmm. and the different cultures and stuff around the world. And, uh, and if you don't mind, tap your head, SD, and see how they bob. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's neat there. That is very neat. Not sure of the designs of the bobbleheads. If you can see, hold them down, SD. Let them see the top of the heads, the face, bring them a little closer so they can see the top of the head and the faces. And you can see they have different designs for it, the eyes and the top of the head. And get the blue one over there, on SD. And you can see that's a different design. And hold the head down. So you can see, I'm not sure of the, the designs. That's something I'm going to have to research a little bit more and probably get back with you all. But uh, I'm quite sure each design represents something. And as the Spanish uh, community celebrates the Day of the Dawn, Day of the Dead, they also go to the go to the cemetery, and they would take um, favorite things of that person and leave it at the grave site for the, for that loved one. And um, so they they really uh, make a big festival out of their loved ones who pass away. Oh, that's quite interesting, D. And I'm happy that you did look this up, D. So when we get ready to list this, we can provide useful information uh, about these particular barber heads. Yes, and if, if anybody can see, if anyone see this video and can maybe give me a little bit more details about the barber heads and what these designs uh, represent, hit us up. Let us know. Because uh, we're always out there looking. And we do work together. All right, Dill. Well, this is Stan and D of D's Life Treasure sounding off. Now, remember, if you like us, give us a thumbs up. If you really like us, tell a friend about us. And you have your friend, and you can also subscribe to our station. And we'll be talking to you again. This is Dan and D of these life treasures saying bye. bye.